This is Easy Chinese. I'm Jenny. Today I'm going to teach you about the how to write to the numbers in Chinese. This is very easy. One stroke represents one. This is one. The pronunciation is e. E. Very simple. And number two. This is one short stroke and one long stroke. So two strokes means number two. Pronunciation is R. R. And number three. Two short strokes and one long strokes. Three strokes means three. Pronunciation is San Si. San. And um, number four, actually, originally was four strokes. Four strokes. However, later on, we put this um, vertical four strokes in horizontal way. See? One, two, three, four. Uh, so like the curve written like this is number four. Pronunciation is S. So, after we have learned this, um, you find it's very easy, right? So, number five, maybe you think will be five strokes. However, the, the, it is not. I'm going to teach you later, but I tell you a joke. Uh, in, there was a joke about a um, rich dad. Uh, hire a teacher to teach his son uh, about uh, well how to write hey right? um, well this joke always about the rich dad rich kid um, when the teacher taught the kid how to write one two three four and the kid said all right I know that I don't want to learn it's so easy so the next day, uh, the dad want to check whether the teacher, uh, you know, has uh, taught her, his son properly. So ask his son, what did you learn yesterday? Oh yeah, it was very easy. One, two, three, four, five. And his dad asked, how to write hundred or a thousand? Well, then the kids just uh, write hundred strokes there on the on the ground. Um, well, this joke is always about rich kid. But um, anyway, so number five is not rate five strokes. Um, I'm going to write it for you. This is number four. Pronunciation is si. Uh, I will show you how to write it later. But number five, actually original meaning was cross cut. Cut this like this and this. The shape is cross cut and currently like written like this. The pronunciation is oo as third tone. I would like to use this character to demonstrate the four tones, the Chinese four tones. Well, this one is the third tone. How about the first tone? Wu, wu. It's a flat tone. Wu is the first one. Wu. You know, you uh, teal it like wu. This the second tone, and the third tone. Wu, wu. And the fourth one is wu. So the these four tones is very important because if you pronounce it a different tone, it will be completely another, you know, different character. So I just demonstrated uh, the pronunciation. Now I want to show you how to write them. Number four, 
right like this in the middle always I write it again okay one two three four five means four one two three four how to structure it in the square don't make it too small or too big too much on the top too much on the bottom or left or right always think about how to write this character in the middle and with uh, the beautiful structure uh, not too fat or too big too high too low but this takes time to practice now let's learn the number six originally this shape like a house represent you know number six but the meaning actually the meaning of the house um, after the long time uh, in evolving it lost the original meaning but just remember this is number six pronunciation is le you the first tone liu 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 don't you know this is a bit confusing but i just want to let you know the original shape coming from the house you write it like this the first stroke in the middle top and the second one this one almost in the middle flat like this and the lower part you write this too okay let me write it again leo number six next one is number seven number seven is like this one two pronunciation is T E T just like this in the square T number seven number eight originally it was like a, a cut one thing into two pieces you know cut in half but actually it means number eight the pronunciation is b a ba very simple just like this remember we have learned the character person like this but ba it's almost these two strokes the same height uh, with a gap in the middle this means number eight uh, let's learn the number nine it came from this shape looks it represent um, snake means zigzag zigzag shape um, but this meaning you know after a long time evolving it lost the original meaning but we just remember this is number nine pronunciation is G U J the third tone. G U J number nine. Uh, number nine actually is a good number, and uh, in China, um, like we have uh, learned that uh, three doesn't mean literally only three it means many, and also nine um, means many also a lot. So number nine, you write this stroke first. Number nine, Jiu. I write it again. Actually, I will teach you the how to call the all this stroke n next time. Uh, this is Pierre. Hung 
Zhuan Go. This is number 10. One, two, two stroke. It's like a cross. Pronunciation is shi, yu, shi, the second tone. Shi in China, in Chinese means uh, perfect, um, cannot be more, and um, completely full. So 10 is a good word, a nice word. It's just very simple. You write it, this, like a cross, just like a cross. Before I introduce the next uh, number, 100, I'm going to introduce you the character, this character first, because uh, the 100 is um, close to this and uh, coming from this one. This character means white or white light it coming from this shape is this represent uh, the fire burning fire and this circle represent the rain of the burning fire if you see the fire right it's the a bright rain a circle um, around the fire so this means white pronunciation as by I buy means white light. Um, so then look the number hundred just to put one stroke on top of this white by the pronunciation is also very close. By is the second tone and by is the third tone. B I Bai means hundred. Bai means white light. Right like this in the middle. First one. And bai hundred. Just one more stroke on top of the bai. The rest are the same. Bye. We have learned from uh, 1 to 10 and also 100. So how to put them together to represent the numbers? Um, okay, this is 10 and 5. You put them together means 15. And if you put it this way, vice versa, 5 and 10 means 50. Uh, if you want to write um, 150, 150. How about 23? So this is 2, 2, 10, and 3 means 23. 2, 10, 3. 23. Your pronunciation is 23. We just learned this. The cross means number 10. 十. If you put a small stroke on top of uh, it means Thousand. And pronunciation is qi, yi, an, qian, the first tone. Qi, yi, an, qian means thousand. How to write it? Always start from the top. In the middle, the first stroke. And this one also in the middle. And this is in the middle. See? Perfect. Now let's learn the character. 10,000. Originally, look at this shape. It is a uh, scorpion. Does it look like scorpion? But after long time, uh, you know, evolution, um, this one is the 
traditional or complicated way to write 10,000, which uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong people still write it like this. Uh, the mainland Chinese, the simplified version is like this. Pronunciation is Wu An, the fourth tone, Wu An, one, means 10,000. Um, after we have learned this thousand and ten thousand, uh, let me teach you a phrase. Tian Shan Wan Shui. Remember, we have learned this mountain and water. Thousand mountains and ten thousand water. If you tell a person you cross across Tian Shan Wan Shui, come to see the person, you tell him basically. You have came. Uh, you came from a long, uh, far away. If you want to say one thousand, you put yi qian one thousand. Want to say ten thousand yi wan and hundred thousand shi wan. Shi wan is hundred thousand. Uh, someone said that this. Um, one is a bit confusing with number nine or number five. Let me demonstrate how to write uh, this ten thousand. Number five, like this. Number nine and ten thousand. Is Wu Let's recap what we have learned today. All the Chinese numbers E one R two San three Si four. 五, 5, 六, 6, 七, 7, 八, 8, 九, 9, 十, 10, 白, white, 百, 100, 千,thousand, one,ten,thousand. I want to tell you a small story. In the past, uh, um, Chinese uh, business people, when they uh, negotiate the price, they don't want anyone to hear it or to see it. So they developed the sign language for the numbers. And they do it um, in this way, you know. Um, the traditional Chinese clothes, the sleeves, uh, the end of the sleeves is much uh, wider. So the two person um, put the, the hands together inside like this, and then one means e, like this means e. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So they negotiate the price uh, inside of their sleeves. Nobody can see it, can hear it. Use one hand to express all these numbers. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you like it. See you next time. 再见。